Welcome back, everybody. My name is Gamma Trap, one word, and today we are covering stone. Now, this is part of a stone playlist. Each of these are in their own individual video, but if you want to get the most comprehensive view of how I go about making these stylized stone pieces, you might want to start from the beginning, but they are all separated in case there's one you're looking for in particular. I have a lot more stone tutorials planned, but I wanted to take this into small bite sized chunks. These four have been recorded, and I'm just finishing the editing on them all. To find the other ones, you can check the playlist or check the video description down below for the links to each of these videos. And if there's something else you're looking for in particular, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. But without further ado, let's get started. All right, so this is our fourth now video in our stone series. And we've covered uh, how to make a cube, a sphere, and like a regular ordinary boulder, like a rock. And now I think we're gonna do something with a little more complexity. And it's going to be a stone wall with vines. And this is gonna have a little bit of a combination of some of the foliage uh, that we're going to be seeing in a future future tutorials on how to do you know, foliage like leaves and trees and all that stuff. We're gonna have a little bit of that, but we're gonna have a lot of what we've already covered in the previous tutorials. Now, for the most comprehensive view, obviously go back to the cube and then start from there because a lot of the stuff I'm going to kind of skip over because we've already covered this in supremely great detail in those previous videos. I'm going to try and move a little quickly on this one because there is a lot of stuff. Uh, it's, it's pretty basic. It's not too difficult, but it is a bit. So the colors as we've been using so far, it's a diagonal line from our brightest to darkest. The brushes we're gonna be using, of course, are, are hard round pressure opacity and soft round pressure opacity. Just basic hard and soft brushes. So because this is a wall, we're going to be using our polygonal, I don't know if that's the right way to say it, lasso, because we can just like click, click, click. See what I'm saying? Just like that. We just want some straight lines just to get us started. And we're gonna grab our medium, Kind of color here. I'm just gonna slot that in. All right, now we've got our basic shape. This is gonna be kind of like the cube, but you know, obviously this, this one's gonna have bricks and vines and all that fun stuff. So now we've got our shape. Let's make a new layer. Clipping mask. Lasso tool again. I'm gonna grab this corner. We're gonna find the corner there. Come up to where we think it should be. We're gonna come down to where that corner is. And now we're gonna draw in a darker blue. And the same treatment. I'm just gonna connect the dots. There we go. We'll be given to the top with a lighter color. Awesome. And it's not perfect. This is stylized. We're, we're not, we, we really don't actually like perfection when we're dealing with stone because it's so easily chipped. It's so easily, it's like, it, it'll last for centuries, as, you know, as long as nothing happens to it. So it's, it's not indestructible. So we're not worried too much about it. The rule of cool is what we're going for. Now we've got that done. Let's make a mask out of this shape layer by clicking the mask button down here. We got that mask. We're gonna click it. Let's change our color to black. And with our hard brush, we're gonna add some imperfections. Just a couple. We want it to look like it was carved with tools, like hand tools, you know? Maybe round off the edges just a little bit. Carved with hand tools centuries ago. And we'll get into the nicks and cuts and, and brick grooves in a bit. So don't worry too much about that. I'm just gonna gently kind of go over the areas, maybe not that. And we're just gonna mess up that nice, lovely line we got. <laughs> Good enough. Now, let's actually add some grooves and cuts and uh, imperfections and texture before we add the actual bricks. Not designs, mind you. Just, just some, just some wear and tear. Designs meaning like these things that we like to do. Which by the way, I've come up with a name for those. Fun fact, you know how they're like squared swirls? Squirrels. <laughs> I was like, what do I call those? Like they're, they're like swirls, but they're square swirls. Uh, squirrels, oh wow. I'm just gonna make a couple grooves like we like to do. Nothing crazy. Now we've got that, now let's add a little bit of texture. So if we're doing it on this plane, we're gonna be using the shadow of this plane. And if you don't understand what I'm talking about, I go into really great detail on what I'm doing right now on the square, on the cube 
a cube stone. And if you're like, if you so, so if you're sitting there and you're going, what the fuck? And you see me do this and just magically it has like stone texture. <laughs> there, now you know. Now, another fun thing we can do for these indentions is just very the most basic indention you could possibly do. Just grab one of the darker spots and then do that. <laughs> most basic indentions possible are just little little dots with the color painted back over them. Like those are pretty basic. <laughs> And like I'm, I'm serious, by the way. If you came to this, if this is your first of the stone tutorials you're seeing, and you're confused as to what I'm doing here, save yourself the typing in the comments. Trust me, I go way into detail in the other videos. I broke them up specifically so that if you're looking for anything in particular, you can find it with relative ease. Uh, but I'm not gonna just repeat myself constantly because there are a lot of people that like to watch all these tutorials to get a more comprehensive view. So we've got our basic stone here. So it's, it's, it's isn't it cool how fast you can do that? Like if you're not just <laughs> narrating <laughs> what you're doing. <laughs> I'm not blaming y'all, I promise. I promise I'm not blaming y'all. Cause I have to like always draw like, oh yeah. And I have to explain why light's doing what it's doing, all that fun stuff. So we got our basic wall. Oh, you know what? While we're here, before we get too crazy, let's actually cut up the bottom part. We forgot to do that, there we go. So we're hard round brush. We click on the mask of the uh, main shape. So not, not our color uh, layer that we've been doing, but the actual shape itself. We click on the mask that we made earlier. And we put on our shape dynamics here. So you'll notice when we turn that on, it adds little points to our brush. And that helps us with, uh, with the grass and stuff underneath. So. We got black selected, and we're just gonna real quick. No bad, and actually now before we do anything crazy, we can move this down a bit too. So it's more like in the center of this little pedestal. Now the next step we're gonna do is we're going to add the grooves for the bricks. We're gonna make a new layer for this so we don't mess up our cool textures. And let's just find our little brick layers. And you just wanna follow, see the lines you made here earlier? You're just gonna follow those lines. So keep everything parallel to that if you can, depending on your perspective, of course, of course. You might not need, you know, so for example, it could look end up looking like that. <laughs> depending and especially if it's like a, a rounded structure now we're gonna grab this shadow now I'm gonna rotate the canvas here don't freak out but I'm gonna do this because here's a fun little cheat if you can't get your stuff lined up very well use the edge of this line right here to line it up so we're just gonna rotate it until it's lined up as good as we want like that. And we're gonna grab our shadow here. And because it's farther away, I am gonna tilt it just a touch. There we go. I'm gonna hold down shift. And no matter where we go, it's gonna be a straight line. Now I'm gonna do it again, but again, just just a touch, just a little bit. Just because I like the, the depth, depth of field sort of situation. Not only depth of field. Because it's farther away, you know, just even by a little bit. It's just a good idea to consider 
See, it looks normal that way now, right? Because if I did it the other way, these lines would end up looking like that. Slightly, slightly deviating, you know, away from the actual trajectory, quote unquote. But this just helps. All right, so now we've got our groove set in. So now we got to do the vertical grooves, which are pretty easy, actually. We're going to just kind of follow roughly the same kind of pattern. Now, these are not straight lines, you'll notice. But I mean, they're straight enough, probably. All right, now the way bricks typically are laid down are every other layer gets half of its bricks laid down like that, which, uh, I mean, lo and behold, we're done. <laughs> Crazy. All right. Now that that's, that's our basic brick structure we're going to use. Okay. But we also need to do the tops. Can't forget the tops. So we're going to do our same little lineup trick where we're going to find this line right here. There we go. I'm just going to hold down shift and that's going to keep us nice and lined up. All right, now we can start making these bricks act the way we want. There's a line there I don't like. So on this this side, you'll notice that this color is the same pretty much as the complete shadowed side. But this dark is much darker than this dark. And that's just because that's like how we that's that's the stepping process with how we, we talked about that in depth in detail in the cube one. So again, if you're curious about that, if you're like, wow, why? What? How do we, you know, just watch that should be very helpful. So now these are uniform. These are uniform, straight, ordinary lines. And because this is stylized and because, you know, this this wall looks already pretty damaged, we have to mess up these lines. So give me a second. I'll be with you in a minute. Just let me just do this real quick. All I'm really going to do is just round out the edges add little nicks and grooves, and then I'm going to add the extra dark shadows that shows like indention. Also, I'm gonna add some cracks and just some fun stuff. It's just stuff we've already talked about, already went over in depth in the cube, uh, and also the sphere tutorial. If you're curious about the indentions I'm doing here and how I'm making them work and make them look like the shadows are really inside the stone, uh, that is actually covered in the latest one, the magical rock. That one's not in a the sphere or the or the cube. So this this is I'm I'm literally taking bits like every little step of the tutorial process. You're literally learning one thing that's going to help you in every subsequent. <laughs> tutorial like there's a reason for this okay there's a method to this madness
right, there we go. I know this part could be really confusing because I know a lot of you are gonna skip ahead to this, this video. Just understand that if you're confused, there's a bunch of other material for you to go enjoy and, and learn from. And it'll help you understand all of this. So now let's skip ahead to the vines. Let's make that cool overgrown stuff. And this one's gonna be super simple because we're just gonna throw on crazy shapes. And we're gonna just gonna follow the same along, kind of the same logic as the cube. So it's gonna be, you know, this is the most well lit side up here. And this is gonna be the second best lit side. And it's gonna be the darkest side. We're just gonna do the same thing, but with vines. And it's just, we're crazy little, you know, you'll, you'll see here, like let's grab a medium green that we already got. I've already got, look, I've already got the colors down on the bottom. It's crazy. It's like, I think ahead. I'm not actually that smart. <laughs> I literally made this because I thought, wow, you know what would be fun? Grass. <laughs> I didn't think I'm going to like, oh, I'm going to place these here way ahead of time so I can figure out this cool vine thing. Never thought that. <laughs> it's not how I operate. <laughs> that might be a little too bright. Let's do darker. There we go. So we're going to start and it's going to follow a lot of the bricks, but we don't want to cover up all the cool cracks and, and characteristics of our bricks. So we're going to make the brush kind of big and we're just going to just kind of throw wild, crazy shapes. And we're going to have some kind of hanging, not too much though, because I think most vines tend to climb, but they also like to connect a lot. It's almost like random spider webs. So I'm just going to do that a bit. Of varying, you know, widths and all that, but we'll handle that in a second. Just putting in our basic understanding of where we want the vines to be, which is good enough for me. All right. Now we're just going to take our eraser and we're just going to erase the voids. You see it coming? I just made a clipping mask and <laughs> gave him a shadow. We can lower the opacity on that clipping mask. But wow, crazy. And, and, and. Doesn't stop there. Whoa. Don't forget the vines on top. Right, the dark parts to the dark parts and light parts to the top of the light parts. And this is just, you know, just to give it a little sense. And now, to save us even more time, I'm gonna show you the ultimate cheese. We're gonna duplicate this layer. And we do this by holding down Alt or Option, clicking and dragging the layer. And that makes copies. And you can also do Command or Control J with the layer selected. Keep that in mind. But here's our layer we just copied. Make a new layer, clipping mask. And where's my colors? There we are. I'll grab that one, and I'm gonna paint that color over everything. And I'm going to control or command E to flatten or merge down. Not really flat, but merge down. So now it's one single image. Then I'm going to click on my select in here or just hit V, which is the hotkey. I'm going to click down with the arrow keys a few times. Just a, just a couple times. I'm going to make this a clipping mask. 
on the brick layer and then turn that to multiply. And that's a lot of steps. I'm aware, I'm aware that's a lot of steps, but the great part is this is literally a video and you can move this shadow around and you could do like drop shadow if you want to, but that's like, again, it's a little too uniform, a little too, a little too uniform. But you move this to where it, it, it makes sense corresponding to the light source. Make sure, you know, you, you don't have to draw the shadows and make sure they're perfect and precise. But then what we do is we could mask it just a bit so we can make the shadows with a soft brush up here a little lighter. So the shadows over here are darker. Very nice. Cool. I like it. And now I think I'm going to add a nice little blue overlay. So I make a new layer, uh, clipping mask. I'm gonna grab that color, soft brush, overlay. And this is just that extra blue I like to add to a lot of my, my stuff. Just brightens it up a little bit. Gives a little extra vibrance, you know? Personal preference, I like it like that. It really stands out against the background too. Is that really helpful for everyone seeing? Okay, now here comes the extra credit. So I'm just gonna speed up past this part and you'll just see me add some, which I'm just gonna clean up the bottom here and then give it a shadow and that's probably gonna be it. So we'll see, I'll see in like, watch, watch how fast this is, it'll be really quick. Okay, there we go. And, you know, so I just cleaned up the bottom a bit, made sure the grass looked like it made sense, gave it a little shadow and uh, adjusted the, the levels a little bit and the colors just a tiny bit and not not really much, but there you go. That's that's our, our stone wall with vines and it is stylized. And again, all this stuff is, is, I could go way more in detail with all this stuff. How far you want to render the pieces are completely up to you. This is just the basic stuff to help people kind of figure out and get a grasp on all these different ways of, of of doing these stylized kind of pieces and textures and, and objects and all this stuff. And it, like a lot of my work is, is a much more polished than all of this, as you could probably see and you could probably tell. But I, if, if I wanna make these tutorials relatively quick, painless, I uh, gotta sacrifice the quality of, of the render of these particular pieces. When I say render, by the way, it means make it look really nice. Cause right now it looks all, you know, choppy and brushy and not very clean, not very polished. But like I said, that's, you know, just the price you got to pay if you want to do fast tutorials. Hopefully though, you have got plenty of fun stuff to practice. That's the main point. Got to give you stuff to practice, stuff to stuff to enjoy, help hopefully help you comprehend a little, a little of the stuff. And, and working alongside with me while I'm doing these things is just the best possible way to help you figure this stuff out. Uh, but yeah, we've got the cube, the sphere, the magical rock, and now the wall. I'm gonna have way more, by the way, of all this stuff. Like I've got, I'm not kidding. I've got a list like lava rocks, like rocks with lava running through them. <laughs> rusted metal um, and, uh, on metal. I've got a bunch of weapons, you know, tridents, swords, blunderbusses, all kinds of cool, fun stuff. So there's going to be a flood of tutorials coming at you very soon. So feel free to subscribe and ring the bell if you want to catch them. Uh, thank you so much to my amazing patrons. I appreciate the ever loving out of you for supporting the ever loving out of me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.